guys welcome to LES matters TV on this channel we focus on everything early childhood related if these are the kind of video you're looking forward to you have to just subscribe and not just subscribe turn on that notification bell so that you'll be the first person to be notified each time a new video is being dropped on this channel so today I'm going to be talking about activities that you could do to promote the cognitive development of young children yes today's discussion is going to be all about the activities that you have the educator or parents of young children could do to promote the cognitive development of young children so now let's go the first activity you could do is music music encourage the children to listen to music when the children are listening to music it's calming it's soothing and you know it's going to help them you know to process things so music is really important in relation to promoting the cognitive development of young children they are listening to music at the same time it's fun for them it's calming it's soothing and they're going to be relaxed and when they're relaxed there's a lot going on in relation to using their imaginations in relation to processing things so i encourage you to include more of music in relation to promoting the cognitive development of young children so now the next one is puzzle and jigsaws yes encourage the children to sort out puzzles and jigsaws this is going to help in times of using their imagination to think of okay where does this pieces go to where do i have to put those pieces so when the children are sorting out puzzle and jigsaws it's going to promote cognitive development they are processing things it has to do with using their imaginations where do they have to put this piece where do they have to put that piece so jigsaws and puzzle so promote cognitive development another one is storytelling yes storytelling so engage the children in the process of storytelling but what i'm going to encourage you is when you're engaging the children in the process of storytelling ask them questions so when you ask them questions they're going to think about it okay they have to reply you but it has to do with them using their imaginations they have to process things okay you could ask them a question what do you think is going to happen in the next page so the children will have to pause they would have to think and reply you so in return can you see that they are using their brain okay which will promote cognitive development so i encourage you as educators as parents to include more of storytelling engage the children in the process of storytelling but like i said earlier encourage them to ask questions pause you know that's when you'll be able to prompt the children curiosity ask them what did they think is going to happen next okay who can summarize the story what did they learn from the story so all of this has to do with the children using their imaginations okay so another activity that the children could engage in in relation to promoting their cognitive development is you could also encourage the children to sort out their toys so when they are sorting out their toys you could say to them oh, put, put all the green toys here put all the red toys here put all the blue toys here so it requires the children process and using their imagination so i have to gather all the red toys i have to gather all the green toys i have to put them into this bowl so can you see in return this is going to promote the cognitive development so educators i'm going to encourage you to include more of this activity to promote the cognitive development of young children because i know sometimes as educators parents could be challenged in thinking of oh yes i want to promote the holistic development of my children the holistic development of children in my classroom but you're wondering oh what are the kind of activities that you can do so include more of these activities in related to cognitive development of young children and if you want more of this tip on this channel what you have to do subscribe and not just subscribe kindly turn on that notification bell so that each time a new video is being dropped on this channel you'll be the first to be notified until i come your way next time stay safe and mind yourselves for now bye